Hello and welcome. My name is Ruta Ka. I am female coach, emotional well-being practitioner, trauma integration specialist and holistic womb healing enthusiast, working with the feminine energy and resolving feminine problems. And today I wanted to talk to you about one issue that lots of us as women and I'm sure some of the men have but I'm talking from my perspective to your perspective because I'm sure you can relate, especially if you had something in your life called codependent relationship or if you have been classified by other people as a good girl, good woman. We have this tendency to be small, to play small, to minimize our impact our energy, what we say, what we choose to do, so that other people would not feel offended, would not feel like we are taking up too much space, that other people would feel good. So we do that usually without really considering how we feel or what we have to give. And the result of that, we don't fulfill our potential. So the pattern started for you, probably like me, already in the school or very early in your life. I remember a time when I was probably in a year five or something and there was a, a play. I was in a group, I was in a drama club and I was chosen as the main character, but I stepped down from the role as one of my friends really wanted it. So the teacher saw my potential and she wanted me to do the role, but another friend of mine one of the best friends of mine wanted to do the role. So I just kind of stepped back. And the stepping back was not just to give another person a chance. I also had self-doubt in myself. Can I really do it? Already starting at the age of 12, 11 years, early teenage years. So you probably, as a child, you might have been a happy child. You may have not noticed these patterns, but if you look back in your background, probably in your early teenage years, you would start to see these patterns of like stepping away, letting other people shine, moving out of the spotlight, not feeling deserving of praise or rejecting praise and compliments. I remember I was feeling uncomfortable when people were saying good things about me, like a teacher. So I was almost in that complex mode where I felt like, oh no, no, please don't say that my essay was the best. <laughs> and it was a genuine feeling that I am somehow, I guess, not good enough and not deserving all of that praise. So back then I didn't really see that as a problem. Of course, neither you would have known that this is some sort of pattern from the childhood and probably something where there is connection to either low self-esteem or self-worth issue. As this pattern goes on in your later adult life, what will start to happen, you will start to miss opportunities or you will delay your blossoming years. You will delay your fulfillment. As you will be stepping aside from these opportunities, you will start to notice that you are delaying when you're going to start your life, when you're going to have your chance, or you're going to start noticing, oh my God, I feel unfulfilled. I feel like something is missing. I feel that I don't really take the place in the world that I am supposed to take. And this is all about being small, playing small, and minimizing yourself and your energy. It might be done with the best intentions, trying to think of yourself as, oh, I want to be a humble person. I don't want to be full of myself. I don't want to be boastful. And that might be also connected with some religious perspectives where humbleness is perceived as a good quality. However, there is a negative and positive humbleness. Negative humbleness when you always minimize yourself. Positive humbleness when you understand that you do powerful things as a human being, as any other person or human being can do things just as you do. Powerful and even more powerful. You're not taking the credit completely for yourself. 
you understand that you have a group of invisible guidance working with you and understand that the results of what you have achieved is completed not just by you by, but by forces around you so that's the positive humble where you don't have this grandiose complex or grandeur view of yourself how to start to feel your power is to starting to connect with your energy body if you sit still for a moment close your eyes take a breath in take a breath out and start to feel energy settling around you now start to feel you can start from your feet all the way up your body all the way up feel how this energy stream is coming from up from above your head so where your en your energy doesn't just start where your body is your energy kind of extends all the way up you extend from the energy body and this energy also can plug in and project all the way further to the center of the earth even beyond is basically you can look at this as infinite continuum but for the purpose of this exercise you don't necessarily need to imagine infinite but just imagine this column of your energy is extending up 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 and feel it so once you connect with that energy you're gonna start feeling that oh i'm not just this height i'm actually much much higher energetically and that will give you this sense of power you should start to feel something in your spine and then you'll start to feel bigger why this exercise is very good because when you feel small you also physically tend to shrink i do that i did that for ages and even like a few years ago even now i sometimes notice myself the habit of kind of like a hunching back and then the minute i lean back i immediately feel more confident bigger taller in a positive sense and more powerful i think that's not only connected with the body language and perceived qualities of the body language i think body language is direct expression of your energetic state so what happens when you straighten your spine and when you stand tall you have your spinal cord this column where you get your pranic energy coming through a line and then you get more energy from your higher self from your spiritual self from another dimensional places for you and like that you actually start to get more downloads and you start to get more energy dripping through so this is physical type of exercise but it's also psychological exercise and it's also emotional and psychological exercise because this smallness where you feel like you need to hunch down where you need to shrink where you need to make other people feel comfortable so therefore you become smaller it has effect on your life and the effect is you don't fulfill your potential you don't take the opportunities you don't feel you are deserving and that's why you miss your chances however good news is the universe or the god or whichever way you want to call it keeps on giving those chances keeps on giving these opportunities because when you incarnate with a certain life purpose you have certain things that you want to achieve so your team of beings and everybody else or your energetic self will be banking in and trying to help you so you're not alone so when you remember you are not alone energetically spiritually you can have more trust that you also have more help into achieving what you want to achieve and you don't just alone trying to be this big or grandiose this taking your space it has to do with you really being who you are and you really stepping into where you are supposed to be and you really doing the things that you want to do love to do and are meant to do on here so i invite you not to be small claim your height claim your strength claim your energy and instead of focusing on what other people are thinking start to focus about what are you here to do what is your purpose what do you want 
to give. And once you connect with that energy and you connect to that higher purpose of you being here, it will be way less hard for you to step into that because it's no longer going to be personal or egoistic mission for you. It will be something that comes from the higher place. And yes, you have a permission to take your space. Yes, you have a permission to be big. Yes, you have a permission to take your place in this world. And this is especially relevant if you are a projector. From human design, I am projector too. And I invite you all to step into your place, into your mission, into what you want to do here. If you have any issues or problems, traumas blocking you, you can use tools and techniques, metaphysical anatomy technique, parts work, voice dialogue, completion process, family system, constellations, all of these tools you can use yourself or you can connect with me and book a session with me and I can help you to go through these blocks that you currently have. Nobody was meant to hear come and live the life unfulfilled. You were not meant to be small. You were not meant to play small. But if you have fears to do that, it's okay. It's circumstances in your life that you put in that have put you in that place. You can untangle them. You can move through them. You can integrate your traumas and the things that are blocking you currently and you still have time to step into your mission to step into your place and to do what you came here to do thank you for listening to me and have a beautiful day and i will see you next time bye bye